live from Austin, where I'm not in front of a green screen. <laughs> and everything is kind of weird. It's going to be a great night. Now, hey, man, just hold on to your butts, butts holder, because it's about to get real. <laughs> because here's your host. <laughs> Brian Brushwood, and absolutely no one else. It's a normal show. Normal show. Oh, 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 everything is the way it's always been. I'm always sitting down on the show. Uh, There's always the laptops in front of me. Uh, and a backup one, you see. Uh, That's because this is a regular show. And Northwest Arkansas is it's pretty nice. nice. That's right. Oh, God, finally, here we are. How you doing, Brett? Hey, I'm doing great, Brian. Uh, you went on vacation. You abandoned us. I did. I did. I had to burn vacation because of the bullshit jobs. Uh, that's the, what the I bullshit did. jobs like hanging out with your wife. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. Uh, uh, you had a birthday? I did have a, my double nickel. That's why uh, I, I had never heard that double nickels until my mom said it when she turned 55. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that a known phrase? It's a known phrase only that my sister said it to me. That, so. that sounds like something a gangster from a 1940s movie would say. It's yeah, like, you see? I'm going to give them the, the double old double nickel. nickels. That's right. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a, 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 a Thomas Jefferson times two. He's going to be Monticello, you see? That's right. If you know what I mean. Uh, he's going to have oh. lots. Of, of babies that he won't recognize. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I think I think at the time they really couldn't tell anyway. You just kind of had to go on faith. So. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, yeah, what, you, you want see? me to drop a dime on him? I'm giving him the double nickels. That's the same as a dime. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, 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 I forgot to think of top. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, that's cool. I, I mean, that's yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, I, I uh, normally we talk talk topics, but we were so excited about our main event. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't that we didn't talk to about any. topics. <laughs> talk about um, the thing that we were we were gonna. Oh yeah, uh, what well, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we do we do have one story, but but beforehand, our special guest um, who you saw in the green room. By the way, tell all your friends right now. Live trivia stream is about to start in about ten minutes. Yes. Uh, real cash prize? Uh, no, not cash. Uh, oh, not real cash. valuable prizes. Yes. That are worth cash uh, to somebody. Valuable prizes that cost can money. be yours uh, uh, if you but, win. Uh, uh, my buddy Gus uh, was wearing a Goonie shirt, and he thought he was pretty cool wearing a Goonie shirt. Goonies never say die. And, he, and, he, and there's this moment where he looks down on my chest and he goes, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm wearing my, my, my shirt of uh, uh, Toast of London that says, yes, I can hear you, Clem Fandango. Yeah. Uh, where, where, you must have just got that, huh? Uh, yeah. Because I feel like if you, if, uh, I'm surprised this is the first time I've seen you wear that because of how often we, we hear the yes. Clem Fandango. I'm sorry. Could you say it a little bit louder with your very expensive $100 hats? <laughs> you must feel like a top asshole. <laughs> well, no, well you... fuck me sky high. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, uh, how much is your shirt? Was your shirt $100? It was free, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it was free? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm British. <laughs> Um, sorry. Uh, the, uh, 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 but at, at any rate, that's my only story. Uh, but Brett, you went to uh, the, the, the most hideous part of Arkansas? Uh, yes, it was quite hideous. Uh, uh, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Oh. And uh, Actually, that sounds quite lovely. Yes. Went, went, I would love went, to summer went, there someday. A surprisingly uh, not bearish place called Lake Leatherwood. I thought there would be a lot more bears there. There was not. <laughs> I did a there bit no of bear hunting There's a couple of daddies there, but no bears. And uh, went very fast down hills going, why the hell am I doing this on a bicycle? And But I did not die, so it felt good. It uh, felt how, good. how fast do you feel comfortable going downhill on a bike? Well, okay, so if it's just straight road, regular thing i can get up to 35 40 miles an hour and i'm okay yeah wow. but i was on a mountain i was on the side of a hill going down with lots of leaves all around that obscured the pathway that made me worry of what was going on and i probably got it to about 25 miles an hour which is still 
a decent little clip going uh, down. Uh, 25 is, uh, I've got one of those rad power bikes, the mm-hmm. e-bikes, and uh, they lock off legally at 20 miles an hour. But there's a sneaky hack if you switch it to default to kilometers per hour, it assumes that you're in Europe where the legal limit is like 24 miles an hour. Oh, wow. So you could actually go faster. <laughs> uh, but, but, even, but, but yeah, I'll vouch for that. Um, uh, although I, I don't mind pedaling on the e-bike. It's, uh, the, what I love about the e-bike is that it spares me the embarrassment of having a car behind me and getting up to speed because it's like that's the part i hate is is like sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry but uh uh yeah so you're you're not you're not joking when you say 20 something is pretty fast yeah yeah so it was uh lake leatherwood uh uh bentonville uh which has slaughter pins bike trail and uh, sorry yeah there's a place called slaughter pins and it's not as much uh death as you would think either it's quite beautiful I, and much like Slaughter Lane. Here. Yes, so, exactly. So, ha, have you heard the radio ads for there's a, a doctor who specializes in like, I don't know. It's it's something Dr. Slaughter. Un, it, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Slaughter uh, is his name. And, and it's something I want to say he's like a urologist or it's something kind of <laughs> savory. Uh, and 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 they do this interview thing and he goes, some people are uncomfortable with going to somebody named Dr. Slaughter. <laughs> he says, uh, if it makes you feel better, you can pronounce it Dr. Slafter, <laughs> which is technically right. Technically correct. Uh, so, uh, 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 but uh, what's there to do in Northwestern? I Arkansas? mean, obviously mountain bike. Yes. Uh, uh, the, the, the big moment was uh, taking my beautiful bride to a place called the Palace uh, uh, Hotel and Bathhouse. And bathhouse. Bathhouse. Uh, okay. And it had uh, eight foot claw foot tubs. Sorry. Uh, oh, claw foot. Yes. It had cloth foot tubs. Uh, I cloth heard. Foot. I heard like like cloth foot. Cloth, cloth foot, foot, which was very weird. We couldn't keep our balance. <laughs> and you you take a nice hot <laughs> your, bath. Your butt's like getting rug place. burns while yeah, you're in the very <laughs> much. And then then uh, there's the massage too. But before that. <laughs> Like they put you like an innocuous to a bathhouse. Yes, and you got a massage. Yes. Okay. And but before that, they put you in a steam closet, like a it, sauna. Are you describing a sauna? No, I'm describing the old timey uh, uh, ones where you get in the box, where, where, where it looks like you're that that robot man from Star Trek, the original uh, series. Commander Pike, and you're, which, and, oh, which, yeah. by the way, yeah. EK made that joke. Oh, she did goes, she really? I feel like Commander <laughs> Pike. I'm like, <laughs> flash once for than yes, than twice for no. She's awesome. So, uh, yeah, so we got in the, the thing, and the lady re- remembered me from last year when I went. And so we were a- having a nice talk, and as she's putting me in the box and closing the thing i'm trying to readjust and we were talking about stuff and she said i was like man this is really cool and i like it and she goes yeah she goes hey have you ever seen that show ratchet what oh like the oh, one ratchet. nurse nurse like ratchet? nurse ratchet yeah um, from yeah. One, one blew, blew over, over the, the cuckoo's nest goes, yeah there was the the show that happened after that i was like yeah i did she goes, yeah. And so as the steam is starting to heat up, she goes, yeah, there's this scene where this guy that uh, that not behaving well and they put him in like one of these. I'm like, oh, OK, cool. Like, how did that end up? Oh, he, they killed him in the <laughs> thing. And I go, why would you tell me this story when I'm stuck in this box? <laughs> and she goes, well, no, it doesn't go up to 120 degrees in the box. I'm like. You're still not selling this to me. This is not where she goes. Well, you can get out if you want. I was like, "What is happening right now?" <laughs> well, I mean, uh, uh, could you get out? Yes. Okay. But she goes, "No, no, that one they locked it." I go, "There's not a lock on this one, is there?" She's like, "No." <laughs> Why can they lock it? Why are they allowed to lock anything <laughs> like that? She goes, "No." I'm like, "Okay, you you sure?" Yes. <laughs> so. <sighs> Uh, all right. Well, I feel like something's missing from the show. Uh, I don't know what that could possibly be. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's let's open up the phone lines. Anybody who wants to call could call in right now. 866-462-4424 or 866-4-MAGIC-4 if you hate writing. Hello. Oh, we've got numbers. Hello, Hello. caller. Call, can call, you hear us? Caller, are, are you on the air? Hi. Yeah, I'm on the air. Uh, caller, caller, where are you calling from? 
I'm calling from Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, 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 do you need bail, caller? Uh, no, 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 no. Although I have uh, skipped throughout 12 countries today. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this Justin Robert Young, my co-host? Yeah. <laughs> is, it is. Is he drunk? Oh, I'm faced, homie. <laughs> like, like, we are, we, he got uh, drunk around the world. At this point. Uh, all right, so uh, uh, t- uh, tell me about your vacation at Disney so far. Uh, well, all right. Uh, uh, so we woke up, and then <laughs> we went to a bunch of countries, and then we drank in all those countries. Then we went back to some other countries. And then we saw a moon pop band, and I ordered a liter of beer, and I didn't realize how much the liter of beer really was. <laughs> and then I drank all of it, and then I called you. All right, perfect, perfect. So here's the important question. Did you walk left, or did you walk right as you entered the World Showcase? Did you, like so, a civilized uh, person, I, I, begin with a margarita, or did you, like some kind of apologistic cow, uh, 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 savage, go and get poutine in Canada? So before I get full Alex Jones about how <laughs> much like COVID has ruined, like I've got, like <laughs> I will say that like there are limitations, and you cannot get the same kind of beers that you want to get like in every country. So the only reason why we went uh, uh, right instead of left was because we had a uh, fast pass for the Ratatouille ride, which was very good. Uh, Although it came right from uh, the uh, Disney Paris and they did not change a thing, including the fact that uh, uh, fucking Patton Oswalt speaks French for half the fucking ride. (laughs) <laughs> Which, like, is very weird, and I guess it's, like, a thing that happens in Paris, but I didn't realize that I'd have to deal with it in Orlando. Wait, that, uh, you, 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 you realize that they do speak French in Paris, but not in Orlando? Yeah, except, like, flip that shit, dog. <laughs> You're in Orlando now. <laughs> like, like, why are you gonna, like, rip the exact same America. thing and not change it at all? So, all right, all right. So, uh, please tell me that you immediately turned around and went to Mexico. But you're probably not going to say that. You're probably going to say you kept going. Uh, well, no, 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 no. So then we had to go to Soren because we had uh, uh, fast passes for Soren. Right. And then we restarted and go to Mexico. Okay, you did right. You did good. Uh, uh, Ratatouille and Soren. I guess that and. The Frozen ride, I think those are the only rides that are running in Epcot right now. Everything else is just uh, coming soon. Uh, Yeah, and and they are making a big deal of it. Like, they have all their boards, and it has uh, uh, The Incredibles and Guardians of the Galaxy and, like, all the shit. By the way, you saw how big that soundstage is, right? Whatever that dark ride is going to be is going to be Gigundo. Oh, it's it's massive. It's going to be huge. Like, like, like all of the beginning of Epcot is not a thing, and now like you basically just have the the nation. That's it. Uh, yeah. So imagine walking into Epcot and you walk through the world's dumbest maze where there's no turns yes, to make it except sucks. you just walk left, walk right, walk left, walk right forever. Uh, so uh, what about yesterday? Did you did you ride any rides? Yeah, I did, Brian. Uh oh. You sound yeah. va- vaguely disappointed. What 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 uh, what shitty rides did you ride? I didn't ride any shitty rides. Oh, I good. only rode good rides. Oh, good, good. But I rode uh, Rise of the Resistance. The fucking best ride of all time. Yeah. Eh. Wow. Wow. Uh. Eh. Na- oh, okay. Name one ride better. Uh, Flight of Passage, the Avatar ride, which is, and still 
the best ride in the fucking world of, of, of theme parks. Yeah, fucking, that is the ride that I rode right after Rise of the Resistance. Uh, fucking, had you said that three feet away, you'd be thankful that my fist can't go that far? You better be glad you're 3,000 miles away uh, because that's that's bonkers sacrilege you're saying. Uh, uh, you have it's VR. Not, it's not, though. It's not, though. And literally everybody that rode with me that has no stake in this fight totally agreed. Mm, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, for anybody who hasn't ridden it, the Avatar ride. Have you have you ridden the Avatar ride? I have not. Okay, Avatar ride is put on a pair of Oculus Whoa. Quest goggles, sit on a seat that that breathes. Uh, congrats, you're riding a dragon. That's the Avatar ride. Uh, ride hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Since you've explained the ride that I think is best, can I explain the ride that you think is best? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Imagine that you wait in a line and then you walk through a thing and there's a bunch of stuff like uh, on a screen and then you wait in a line and then there's a bunch of stuff on a screen and you wait in a line and then there's another stuff on a screen and you wait in a line and then eventually you go on a pretty cool ride that has uh, Kylo Ren doing like a weird shuck and jive pose at the end. <laughs> okay, yes, and you know how much <laughs> I hate lines. Rise of the Resistance, first of all, the first line is as a refugee leaving a Tatooine like planet. Then you get an escape vehicle, and then you get captured, and the next line is you're literally on a Star Destroyer, and everybody is super mean to you. It's, I've never experienced anything like that. Like this, like they shouted at people. They pointed at my six year old daughter at the time and said, this bloody child is able to stand in a line. Why can't you? An Imperial officer is giving us sass. Then they literally lock you in a jail cell forever. <laughs> like way longer than is appropriate. And you think to yourself. And, or they don't, or they don't. Like sometimes they don't, like they did with me. They was just kind of they put you in a thing and then that thing happened. Like it was very clear. It was awesome. Dude, I was in that jail cell for ten minutes and there was nervous laughter. There's no way you were in there for ten minutes. Oh my there god. No way. Zero I, chance you were in there for ten minutes. I I I it it it, it, it certainly felt it felt so long that there was like, nervous. I, 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 by, by, by the timing of the ride, there's zero chance. Okay, fine. Whatever it was, it was long enough. There was nervous chuckles, and I will never forget the moment I'm looking at Bonnie, and Bonnie does this kind of nervous shaking head shrug maneuver, like, uh? And then over her shoulder, I see the red-hot glow of, 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 of somebody melting the steel behind her, cutting out a hole to bust us out of the jail cell. It was the greatest experience. Like, the ride itself was fine, but, but <laughs> it was great. Oh, my God. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of an extreme version of Dick's last I mean, it stand. Was, it was it was really cool. All right, here, here's my biggest recommendation: if you like waiting in lines, <laughs> then Rise of Resistance is for you. It is, <laughs> Nobody it is, hates lines it is more for than me. You. All, like, like, if, if, if what you like is for like to see really cool shit, but you would like to wait in lines in between it. Then you should go to Rise of the Resistance. It's the best ride in the park. All right, all right. Uh, uh, counter. This is my only counterpoint, and then and then I'll let you go. But at no. And by point, the way, and by the way, by the way, look. Let me let me tell you this about fucking Flight of Passage, the Avatar <laughs> ride. That is for whatever line you want to wait in it, a fucking exquisite seven minutes, unbroken, seven minutes of fucking joy, absolute unquestioned joy okay but before you get to that was there ever a moment that it felt anywhere close to you actually being on pandora compared to yes, rise of the resistance yes, yes walking through pandora yeah. which feels way better yeah, actually, than uh, okay too, actually I'll, yeah I'll, which, which I'll, is I'll, by the way a, 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 a fucking ip that nobody has any connection with uh, uh, yeah, I'll roll that back. The entire park for Pandora is pretty amazing. You, uh, you didn't see yeah. it at night, did you? Did you see it Wait, at night? Was that? Did you see it at night? Uh, oh yeah, no, it shit is amazing. 
Oh, you did see it at night. See, I mean, maybe yeah, that's the yeah. difference is I've never seen it at night. I've only seen it in the thick heat of day where they're trying to manufacture joy and, and it didn't quite take. <laughs> well, no, I mean, also it's like, I, I, and, and also for the record, I have no love for Pan or uh, Avatar the movie. Like, like it was a good experience in an IMAX in Fort Lauderdale, but like, like I have, I have no like specific IP love for it. That being said, that world is the best like physical design that I've ever seen for a theme park ever. And that ride is like unquestionably the best ride that's ever been built. Uh, okay. We'll, 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 we'll talk when you're sober and we'll see if you still feel that way. <laughs> I, no, no, I, 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 I have said this for years. So I, 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 I do not think I will change. All I will say is this rise of resistance is a, I, I think that for me to get into why I think it's not great would be very boring because it would just be us getting into very nerdy, like physical design things. But like, it is uh, unquestionably the greatest physical design feature ever. Like, like you walk through so many different sets that are basically movie level sets that like you can't question if you are a star wars fan you have to do it Agreed. despite the fact that it was built off ip that is now by way of uh uh you know rotten tomatoes like very controversial oh but yeah like, yeah that, all, that's the wild part like, is that it's, like, it's like, based like on a trilogy shit. yeah it's based on a trilogy that even disney is about to disown it's very very yeah. weird <laughs> uh all right well look uh uh, uh, I, I, uh i'm gonna let you go thank you so much for calling again we're gonna we're gonna play a trivia stream have a great night and get faced I'm drunk as fuck. I love everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Love you, Justin. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, we'll have a talk when he gets back. I'll, yeah. I'll set his head right. You'll, you'll let him know the error of his ways. Yeah. Yes. The. Uh, in fact, you know what? Maybe we should settle it by having all of us go and experience both of them together we as can a do big that. group. Scientifically, it just seems like that's the only option to do. It's, totally it's the fair. responsible thing to do. Totally kind of like, kind of like, kind of like supporting this program. The that's responsible right. thing is to go to patreon.com slash great night. Uh, just so, great night, right? Yeah, it's just great. Okay, night. great. Uh, patreon.com slash great night <laughs> gets you <laughs> yeah. for only two bucks a, a week. Uh, gets you in the secret club where you get four bonus episodes every single month. You get to find out. Before Netflix comes up with their bullshit ripoff idea, you get to hear – if you work at Netflix and you want the next big idea to pitch and take all the credit for, then you should be listening to our uh, – oh, wait. That was actually a – That was the regular right? episode. But Okay. But, 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 but anyway, the, the point is uh, – uh, uh, It's good stuff. Like the bonuses are – I was actually talking about this in the Discord the other day. Like the, the, one of the nice things about doing the bonus episodes is they are, they are very similar in cadence to like the happy hours, which, which people really loved uh, uh, last year. And uh, with with how like Great Night has is is showing up structurally, like we we have all of these different energies to try to get everybody right. Whether it's talking and interviewing, kind of in the green room, whether it's just hanging out during the bonus, whether it's doing the big show, like all of that stuff, um, and that's possible because of Patreon. Well, and and I uh, 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 being being real for just a second, I mean, I think it's pretty clear from tonight's episode that we're trying a lot of stuff and we're doing our best to throw stuff at the wall, see what sticks. Uh, we love you guys and we're giving it our all. And all we ask is that you, uh, 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 less than a cup of coffee is the cliche, but uh, uh, join the club. Two bucks an episode uh, means all the world to us and, and you'll never notice. Right. Uh, speaking of which, we have a very special event. One of my longest, oldest, bestest friends is the host of something called Trivia Stream. Uh, Brett, why don't you do me a favor? Sit down that microphone. Lay down that weary microphone and come over and join me. Sure. Join me at my left hand where I've saved a seat for you, where I've always been waiting <laughs> for eventually Justin to abandon me and adopt radical leftist ideals. <laughs> oh, because Hippie he turns loving left. loving crazy bad IPs and, and abandon Star Wars for, uh, uh, for, for the world of Pandora. And let's say the two of us uh, play a live trivia stream that everybody can play at home for real prizes that are worth real money. And at this point, I'm going to turn it over to uh, one of my longest, bestest friends. Longest? 
your your longest Taller. time and tallest. <laughs> hey, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> One of my longest time bestest friends, Mr. Gus Davis. We're gonna all play trivia stream. Take it away, Gus. <laughs> What is up? Great night. It's so good to see every single one of you out here. Uh, Brian and Great Night, thank you so much for having us. Listen, uh, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but we have a $300 prize package that we're giving away today. $300. Yeah, $300. We got to sell it out like it ain't no thing. So okay, you do realize that's like that's like most of our budget. I, I do. I do. It's really a gift from us. We really appreciate all of y'all hanging out with us tonight. It's Thanksgiving. Everybody needs some extra turkey. We're going to try to help you out. Listen, in order to, uh, in order to get paid, you got to do a couple of things for us. Thing number one, uh, please, please, please uh, make sure that you click on our uh, on our quiz kit icon. It is this beautiful one-of-a-kind designer thing that's popping up over in the corner. Uh, make sure you click on that, Jones. Go to that Manage Access and grant access friends if you don't do that uh, then you just show up as like a reg uh, contestant number and honestly we don't know you we don't know who you are uh, and we can't get you paid and that's that's not a good way to start off a relationship by the way Gus re real quick for the audio yeah. listeners uh, uh, for me it's showing up on the right hand side you have to mouse over in order to see it and it's a uh, it says quiz kit and I'm just I, I click what add to my channel it no, might, you it, don't click add to your channel. Uh, you, you click on the icon. You oh. click on the quiz kit icon, manage that access, and grant that access, Brian. Got it. See? All right. See, we are professionals around here. Also, uh, listen, I do want to explain how this game's going to work. We have five amazing rounds of trivia heading your way. We have prizes for first place, second place, and third place for every single one of those rounds. So, again, you got lots of chances of getting paid uh, every single game. Plus, we have what we like to call chat room challenges that are going to happen every single round. Uh, so, look, you can get every single question wrong and still win free money. It's, it's that dope. That's exactly right. Also, uh, you know, uh, we also have what we like to call ching bucks that we're going to throw out to you. So, listen, be cool in that chat room pump people up shout people out obviously try to make brian and i laugh uh the cooler you are in that chat room the easier it is for one of our amazing mods james and brett to hit you up and be like hey you know what that was awesome here's some extra free money uh and brian ain't no money like free money uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, well, I, 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 my whole life I'm convinced I only get free money because I clearly <laughs> don't feel like I'm ever working. All right, well, then uh, then let's let, let's have everybody else join into the club. I do also want to say that uh, we uh, we have a, 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 a secret word that we're going to try to shout out to you guys at the very beginning of the show. I'm going to say it right now. Uh, I'm going to say our secret word right now. Uh, but, uh, again, don't, don't post it into the chat until after I've said it in the actual round. The secret word is going to be A-team tonight. Uh, uh, yeah, why not? A-team is going to be our secret word. Uh, really, Brian, just so you know, uh, I like to pick words that are, are safe words. They're, I, they're <laughs> basically how this Not is. in my case, Clem. The <laughs> A stands for yes. asshole. Yes, yes. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you were logged in. Remember to click that quiz kit icon, manage that ask, access at any point in time. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, your, your sound's not working, or you don't know where to click, just ask in the chat. Again, we got the best mods in the entire world. They're going to hook you up like cable. They're going to make sure you're 100. So all you got to do is just ask, all right? That's it for the do's and don'ts. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Good luck, everybody. Playing for real prizes having a great night like always let's make it happen here we go round number one trivia stream let's get it on here we go q1 who wrote mary shelley's frankenstein would that be stephen king bram stoker john carpenter or mary shelley real quick again uh, we don't want you working too hard all you got to do is click on one of these four answers that's floating around right down there the faster you click on it the more points you're gonna get uh if you get it wrong you lose points so keep that in mind as well that's like how the how the whole show works right there, okay? Uh, don't don't type out your answer. Click on one of those four buttons right down there. Uh, Stephen King, Bram Stoker, John Carpenter, or Mary Shelley? Which one of those people wrote Bram Stoker or Mary Shelley's Frankenstein? Well, the answer is, yeah, the answer is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. 69 of you got that one right. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that in stereo, both from our live studio guest and from Brett. <laughs> the goal from here on out. <laughs> we have a goal. <laughs> Just got to be consistent. Well, thank you guys for playing. Good night, everyone. Mm. Let's walk off. All right, good job, everyone. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Here we go. Q2. <laughs> We're such children. Who did the voice of Woody? Giggity. In Toy Story, would that be Tim Allen, Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg, or Tom Hanks? Which one of those people did the voice of Woody in Toy Story? Hey, uh, I want to make sure I get to know everybody. Uh, where are my Toy Story fans at? Anybody? Brian, are you a Toy Story fan? Uh, yeah. yeah, dude. 
Uh, by uh, the way, which one was the best? Uh, I'm gonna say I don't know which ones. That's a, I don't want to start controversy, but I will say Toy Story three, where they were going towards their death. I yep. watched that with my kid. Yep. And I, I, there was a moment where I was like, and the cats in the cradle. True story. On this very program, I proposed that everything after that point is a delusion he's having as he's melting, and it's all fake. And enough people talked about it on Twitter that the director said. That's a great idea. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not room child this. All right, what's the answer? Well, the answer is none other than the national treasure himself, Mr. Tom Hanks. Great job to the 64 of you that got that one correct. Well, well done. Hey, I see some more people joining in. Excellent job. Uh, whoever said Tim Allen, the 16 of you that said Tim Allen, I'm going to say give you partial credit. Uh, Tim Allen played Buzz Lightyear, so you're in the right ballpark. Just missed it by one. Moving on. Q3. The claws is business. That's funny. Uh, what is the name of Hagrid's pet dragon in the Harry Potter series? Is that Noland, Wormtongue, Norbert, or no, uh, Norbit? Uh, Brian, I hope you get this right because I believe you actually read me, uh, like, while we were driving somewhere, read me some Harry Potter. Uh, uh, that, that, that does sound like when you get on the road and the, you can't find the audiobook uh -huh. uh, uh, on the Pirate Bay, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> you rely on your friend to just read the book. <laughs> That is, that is some that is some old school pirate bait. You know what? I'll just read it. Whatever. All right. What's the answer? Well, the answer is Norbert is the answer. Great job to the forty-five of you that got that one right. I, I got it wrong. I got it right. You got it right. That's right. Good for you. Yeah. If you're a super Harry Potter fan, you probably know it ended up being Norberta because it was a lady dragon. You know, because of course it was a lady dragon. Moving on. Q four. <laughs> Uh, what made President James Buchanan different from all other U.S. presidents? That's right, we're gonna hit you on all aspects of trivia on Trivia Stream. Is that he had no children, he had uh, no vice president, he was legally blind, or he was a bachelor. Brian, are you good at, tri uh, uh, at U.S. history? Uh, yeah, well, I, I know enough to know that there's only one president that I trust to, to be uh, 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 side hustling and crushing puss, uh, and that's James Buchanan. If Actually, sorry, and William Jefferson Clinton. <laughs> 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 that note, ladies really, and gentlemen. No, no, love, no love for FDR? That's, I'm so surprised. He was the one in the wheelchair, though, right? Yeah, he was great. <laughs> right. you, you can't get a lap dance while sitting down you know, or while standing up. <laughs> right, let's see what the answer is. The answer is he was a bachelor. That's right. Uh, he was the only U.S. president that we ever had uh, that had no spouse in the White House. You find the president on Tinder. <laughs> that, by the way, is actual portrait. He, like, sat down and said, I look presidential today. Take my picture. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on. Here we go. Q5. Which of these comic book characters was not played by uh, Samuel L. Jackson? Would that be the octopus, Nick Fury, Blade, or Frozen? Man, there's a lot of these answers that, uh, that just the answers in there, we're just trying to shout out some pretty amazing uh, characters out there. So again, uh, Samuel L. is one of my absolute favorites. The octopus, Nick Fury, Blade, or Frozone? Which one of those had nothing to do with Samuel L.? Ooh, this is tough. If some of you are probably trying to flip a coin between two of them. What's the answer? Well, the actual answer is he had nothing to do with the movie Blade. That was played by Wesley Snipes, which interestingly actually kicked off the MCU with a profitable uh, superhero franchise. Before that, they had like Howard the Duck in that one Fantastic Four movie that nobody wants to talk about. Uh, after that, they were like, hey, maybe we should try this Iron Man thing. Anyway, good job to the 65 of you that got that one right. Hey, let's check in real quick, make sure everybody's doing okay. It looks like, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Five and team? Hey, what's up? Shout out to you. You're in the first place. Look at you and your bad self. You know your trivia. Good job. Uh, G-I-A unit. Shout out to you in the just G unit. Shout out to you in that <laughs> second place spot. Scott, I see you working. Uh, uh, is that stale? Shout out to you. Uh, Master Baconer? 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 Yeah. Master Baconer. Shout out to you. Uh, and also a huge shout out to Fearless in our top six. Hey, y'all are crushing it. You're doing such a great job. Keep going. Uh, look, I've seen people start at the bottom of the bottom, and the, and the, the president of the negative club can move up to the very top of the top. So let's keep moving. Here we go. Q6. <laughs> I see somebody. Ha, ha, ha. I'm in 88th. Keep going. Uh, what is the name of the predictive type of text that came before QWERTY? Brian, you got this one in on lock. Brett, I think you do too. Uh, Let's see, is it uh, Virtual Assistant T1000, T9, or Autocorrect? Which one of those is the name of the predictive type of text that came before QWERTY? Uh, man, uh, look, here, here's the thing. Uh, it, 
if you there's a certain generation that has this easy okay like super super easy you're like yeah yeah that's what came before qwerty uh if you don't know what we're talking about that's when you had like a full when you have a full keyboard a through z you don't have to worry about this if you just have the numbers then you have to use what is called t9 uh, uh, hey do y'all remember t9 I, I, dude i i wonder what the movie the departed looks like to people in a post iphone era where it's like a significant plot device that 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 he's like texting inside of his pocket without looking i miss t9 i was so fast on t9 too. <laughs> yeah, one, I remember this. Uh, I was at a conference one time. There's this uh, this person I was talking to, and they're just talking to me with their hand in their pocket. And every once in a while, they'd look down, and they were having two separate conversations, like live conversation right here, and text in their pocket. And I was like, man, that's that's some like Android stuff going on right there. Well, yeah, but if the the text thing was all, baby, come over, baby, come over. You got the weed? <laughs> come bring the weed, baby. Come over, come over right now, baby. Come here. Hey, anyway, good job to the 64 of you that got that one right. It was T9. Well, well done, guys. Y'all are working so hard. Y'all crushing this game. Y'all basically the A team of trivia. Y'all keep it up. Let's move it on. Q7. Uh, what game piece is not used in the game of operation? Would that be spare ribs, hamburger, ice cream cone, or apple? Hey, this is this is real, Brian and, and Brett. This is real talk to uh, to you guys. Uh, operation gave me full on anxiety when I was a kid, and I'm not even being funny. Like there was something about being a child and knowing for a fact that uh, one, the guy's eyes were open, and I didn't appreciate. That. <laughs> and two, uh, I knew for a fact that uh, that there was electricity flowing between me and this board, and I that's not a way to die. You know, like I'm not dying in my room operating on you with your eyes open. Forget that. Anyway, what is the answer? The answer is hamburger. That's what we're looking for. Good job, the 41 of you that got that one right uh so it goes like this uh uh apple is for adam's apple ice cream cone was actually added to operation in 2004 uh, it's up here uh spare ribs is for your ribble area but hamburger wasn't on there moving on q8 <laughs> uh who is eric weiss better known as y'all better get this one right is it uh two chains the <laughs> Screech or Harry Houdini? Which one of those people is Eric Weiss better known as? So Eric Weiss, to try to help you guys out, Eric Weiss is their birth name, right? That is what's on their birth certificate. However, they are known as a, as a, a famous character, a famous person. Uh, who would that actually be that would you know be the famous person you would know? Who is it? Well, Eric Weiss is actually better known as the escape artist and uh, magician oh. named Harry Houdini. Great yeah. job, seven of you. Well, go ahead and just give yourself a little golf clap right there. Brian, you got that right, right? Uh, yes. Well, mo more importantly, we did a uh, Scam Nation episode with my daughter, oh. and uh, she didn't know who Harry Houdini was. Like, he's so famous, people know the name, and they don't even know why. Oh, that's cool. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the cat's in the cradle. All right. So, good job. 57 of you that got that right. Moving on. Here we go. You got two more in round number one. Try to get to that number one, two, and three spot. Here we go. Q9. Night Court taught me that. That's funny. Uh, Kermit is a frog. That makes sense. Uh, Miss Piggy is a pig. That even makes sense linguistically. So what is Sam? Is Sam an eagle, a bear, an ant, or a chef? Which one of those is uh, Sam? It, so we're talking the Muppets on, on this question. Trick right. question. He's a bellhop. <laughs> that was that's the, a magic reference. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the magic reference. Only Harry Houdini got that. <laughs> He's rolling over in his grave. Uh, uh, all right, so Kermit's a frog. Miss Piggy's a pig. What is Sam? Sam is one of my favorite of the Muppets. Sam is the ball headed all American eagle that is just frowning and angry all the time. And I don't even know why, but he scares everybody. Great. Hey, guess what, Brian? You know how many people got that right? Is it nice? It's uh, 69 people. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> well done. Well, did y'all get together? Y'all on the phone chat? Everybody's like, come on, click A. All right, well done to the 69 of you. That got that. All, right. All right, here we go. Moving on. Last question in round number one. Y'all can finish strong. Here we go. Q10. <laughs> uh, a baseball travels 9% faster in what U.S. city? Would that be Denver? Orlando, Chicago, or Honolulu? Hey, listen, great night. I'm going to tell you this a lot. Brains plus science equals correct answers on trivia shows. I honestly believe you can science this one out. So try to think about why a baseball might travel faster in one uh, city over another. All right? You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, what, is a, what is the city that a baseball can travel up to 9% faster in? Well, the answer is, the answer is Denver, Colorado. 75 of you got that right. Well done, friends. Uh, yeah, Denver is known as the Mile High City. 
Uh, because it's so high up, that means that there's less oxygen, less atmosphere. Because of that, there's less resistance. Ergo, a baseball can travel up to nine uh, percent faster. And uh, the weed is a lot stronger there too. <laughs> also, when you go to Orlando, apparently you make dumb, wrong decisions, and things <laughs> go opposite from how they should go. Yeah. yeah. No, no, who wants to visit Pandora? Yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, guess what, kids? We're going to Pandora. <laughs> you know the place that wants to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, great job, the seventy-five. You got that right. Hey. Hey guys, we did it. Round number one is in the books. Let's go ahead and see how we did. First of all, thank you guys. I see a bunch of you continuing to jump in. Uh, uh, is a five, five, five eighteen. I, I, you know, uh, I'm dyslexic. Good job, five eighteen. One hundred forty-four thousand. Great. You know what? You crossed the the uh, the hundred thousand mark. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little uh, a little uh, American flag wave right there. Excellent job. <laughs> <laughs> Gian Unit, shout out to you, 140,000, well done. And uh, Master Baconier, shout out to you. You got the top three right there. Uh, hey, that's real free prizes. We're gonna be sending you guys Amazon gift codes. Again, make sure you've clicked that quiz kit icon, managed that access, and granted that access. Hey, um, uh, first of all, I see all the love going in the chat. Thank you guys very much. Of course, this is a live show. Uh, shout out to uh, Brian and Brett again, who are just gonna heckle me through the next four rounds of trivia. All right. Yeah. All right. right. I, I also want to say that uh, we are here to try to uh, just, you know, I know it's the holiday season. We want to try to help you buy some extra cranberry sauce. So we're gonna reset your scores. We're gonna what? put everybody back on zeros. So you can forget about that last round. That last round is done. We're gonna try to put you back on zero, so you guys are all on the same starting block. While we were doing that, the uh, Here's another shot of some free money. Check this out. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with round number two of Trivia Stream. Stay tuned. <laughs> nice. I think I'm not doing good in <laughs> well, I mean, he's, he's uh, the score's reset, right? So so it's like... Uh, uh, oh, I still get a chance. Now we all got a sense for the uh, very fast-paced rhythm of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gus is a ball of, 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 of uh, fire. Fire, <laughs> energy. We're like, wait, are we supposed to try to get a word yeah. in? Or do we just... <laughs> Oh no, yeah. no! It's uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's like, uh, uh, I, 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 yes, please. Yeah, Scott. we're both Th just going. Th oh, thank, go. thank you, sir. Look Can we have go. another? <laughs> oh wait, we gotta do our It's. Uh, did did you uh um um, hello, hi, uh, are we, uh, hi, hello. Oh, are we? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yo, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, TSCN Sam says he's an amazing host. Oh yeah, we are back with round number two of Trivia Stream. Oh yeah, you're, you muted yourself, I believe. Oh, you're muted. Oh no. Hey, guess what? What? Uh, we are back, and I am a <laughs> professional back here hanging out on Great Night. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hey, uh, listen, I just want you to know during that break, here's what we did. Not not only did we reset your scores. We put everybody back on zeros. That's right. Uh, congratulations. You're Yay! tied for first. Yeah. Enjoy this feeling right here and right now. It'll be we great for the next 30 seconds. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's you like having your student Brian, debt you want, wiped Brian, away. <laughs> Brian, you want to take a minute and just be like, oh, man, is this what it feels like to be on, on top? Of, you know? uh, 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 oh, I'm tied for first. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, yes. I get it now. Uh, we also poured some new, uh, some new router fluid in the internet, so we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and make it happen. <laughs> Here we go. Router, <laughs> round number two, trivia stream. Good luck. Uh, which of these is not a rule for taking? Oh, this is great. Of oh, taking care of a mogwai in the Gremlin series. Would that be? Do not expose them to light. Never feed them after midnight. Never pet them at night. Or don't get them wet. First of all, uh, shout out to Gremlins. Okay, if you are not up on game and don't know about Gremlins, uh. It's, I'm not going to say it's a good movie or a franchise, but I what? am going to say it's a classic movie and franchise. Okay? So, uh, it, you know. Better than Baby Yoda. That's what I'm saying. It's better than Baby Yoda. Wow. Wow. I just threw wow. that down. Wow. That's, that's, uh, I've never that's, seen someone poop themselves live on the street. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, I did that for you. That was, I did it for you, Brian. <laughs> Uh, let's see what the answer is. It looks like the answer is never pet them at night. 67. We got close. Good job. <laughs> they got that one right. Well, well done. Don't expose them to sunlight. That'll kill them. Uh, never feed them after midnight. Don't do it. Never get them wet. Hey, seriously. Great night. Wet. 
that thing. It won't right, be uh, a great night. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Moving on. Here we go. Uh, Q2. Uh, in uh, what is the U.S. state with the smallest population? I want to make sure I stress this. We're looking for population size on this one. Is it Utah, Wyoming, Rhode Island, or Iowa? Which one of those is the U.S. state with the smallest population? Ooh, I hope that, that you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to help you out. I do want you to win some free stuff from us. So, again, population size is the thing you want to underline and highlight on this one right here, okay? Uh, Brian, uh, before Dude. we reveal the answer, I just want you to take a guess. What do you say? Uh, uh, look, no, stay it live on the microphone. Nope. Wyoming! Wyoming, okay. Bro. Yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> Could hey, be Iowa, but it's probably is? Wyoming. No, the actual answer is it is Wyoming. Good job. Hey. You the got there. Everybody who said Rhode Island, I totally get it. What's Rhode Island like that big? Maybe even smaller. But even though Rhode Island's so small, uh, you know, the, nobody lives in Wyoming. Hey, be honest with me. Have you ever met somebody that was born and raised in Wyoming? Uh, actually, the person that I bought this house from <laughs> moved from Wyoming. That the hotel that he owned in Wyoming got struck by lightning and burned down, and that's why I bought this house. Honestly, that's not. <laughs> Even the craziest story I've heard uh, anybody in Wyoming. So great. Uh, okay, uh, there's one. Uh, I, think like, <laughs> I feel like I feel like people who live in Wyoming is, is like that's just like a myth. Like like birds. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I, I have met someone from Wyoming. I met Dick Cheney. He's from Wyoming. You three. Which product came first? Is it Tesla, iPhone, Twitter, or YouTube? Which one of those is the product that came first? I want to put a star and asterisk on this one, too. We are looking for product that came first, uh, not necessarily the actual company uh, IPO foundation. All right. So, again, Tesla, iPhone, Twitter, or YouTube, which one of those is the product that came first? Lock it in. All right. Let's find out together. The answer is, the answer is none other than YouTube. Can I, can, I, can I guess? Is it 2005? Huh? It is. Yeah. It came out in 2005. iPhone 2006. Six. Twitter 2007. Uh, and Tesla, the first Tesla rolled off the lot in 2008. Tesla as the car was the product. Good job. 64 of you. Well done. Moving on. Q4. According to the popular Christmas Carol, what was given on the eighth day of Christmas? Was it ladies dancing, calling birds, pipers piping, or maids milking? I'm going to be honest. I, I, this might be my favorite question the entire night because I know what's happening. Some of you are sitting there going, nobody's around to sing it out. Try to get to that eighth day. It is not easy, all right? So, yeah. <laughs> you Making me time? sing Christmas music before Thanksgiving. Hey, well, I'm not. It's not me is the question. You did right. that. What is the answer? Well, the answer is maids and milking. God damn it. Hey, well done. <laughs> well done. I'll be real, real talk. I've got four column birds and five golden rings. That's the section I hold down. Blam. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't it's know. all blank. All right. all right, here we go. Moving on. <laughs> Q5. <laughs> I see Scooby like, boom, got that one. Uh, what <laughs> animal is responsible for the most human deaths worldwide? Would that be a snake, a jellyfish, a shark, or a mosquito? Which one of those is the animal that is responsible for the most human deaths worldwide? Look, think about this one. Don't just think about your own city, state, local, country, county. Think about all around the world. What animal do you think would be responsible for the most human deaths all around the world. I know this one. It's them maids of milking. <laughs> that's, that's that's maybe the quickest <laughs> callback I have ever heard <laughs> in the history of comedy. Like, remember on the last episode, with the last question we were talking about? All right, what's the answer? Well, the answer is, the answer is a mosquito. Uh, you know, 82 of you got that right. I'll give you flashing lights. Great job. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah well done. Uh, look, uh, it goes like this. Uh, mosquitoes kill like 800 and something thousand people every single year. Almost a million people. Uh, they pass on diseases like uh, uh, malaria, dengue fever, yellow fever. Uh, in the United States, sharks only kill like 1.2 people every single year. And while I'd hate to be the .2 of a person, because that does not sound pleasant, I'm just saying there's not that many people. All right. Little known fact mosquitoes carry guns there we go that's what's happening mosquitoes carry what guns they have guns that's why they kill so many because people. they bench press yeah that's two they got guns <laughs> that's right I, 
Mosquitoes carry bullets. The bullets <laughs> yeah. that you got to worry about. The guns are fine. <laughs> All right, let's see how you guys are doing. It looks like, man, 518 crushing it. You came to play. Excellent job. You're working the show like a part-time job. We're going to have to send you a, a, a W9. All right, well done. Uh, Rabbit, I see you. Sh uh, shout out to you. Hey, welcome to the top three, Rabbit. Stale, I see you as well. Hey, good job. Welcome. I see some new blood up in there. Excellent job. Blood is a reference to the mosquito. That was my callback <laughs> to the last question. You see how that didn't work? The callbacks. All right, moving on. Here, let's go ahead and move on. Here we go. Q6. Uh, which of these characters was never a Ghostbuster? Y'all were Ghostbuster fans? Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, is it Dana Barrett, Aaron Gilbert, Peter Venkman, or Winston Zedmore? I'm going to be I, I haven't seen the new movie yet. I know it just came out, and I'm so stoked to see it. I'm a huge Ghostbuster fan. Uh, I... I, I'm gonna say it on the microphone, and again, I'm I'm just putting myself out there to you all. Uh, I think Ghostbusters One might be the best comedy movie of all time. Wow, bold wow. stance. <laughs> what, what? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna stand behind it, man. It's Courageous. A, it's it, you know they got Dan Aykroyd, they got Bill Murray, they got Harold Ramis, they got a you know uh, what's that other dude's name? Uh, 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 Ernie Winston Bill Murray. Zedmore. Ernie whatever his name is. Anyway, Ernie Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right, uh, Ernie Hudson. Uh, 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 dude, by the way, Rick uh, Moranis. Did, did you know that that part was actually written for Eddie Murphy and he turned it down? And then that's what that's why uh, 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 what's his name? Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> that's why not Eddie Murphy. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's Rick Moranis, funniest guy on that show. He was really that's good. Right, it's the, the answer is Dana Barrett. That's right. Dana Ooh, Barrett played a. Uh, Peter Venkman's girlfriend in that then Ghostbusters one and two, uh, but she never strapped on the pro proton pack. Uh, everybody else. Sigourney was. Weaver. What? Yeah, Sigourney Hot Weaver as hell. was yeah. uh, was Dana Barrett. That's yeah, right. Yeah. All right, moving on. Here we go. Q seven. <laughs> Busting makes me feel good. All right, uh, Q seven. Uh, which one of these is not a ghost from Pac Man? Is that Brian? Pandering. Clyde, <laughs> Inky, or Pinky? Which one of those is not a ghost from Pac Man? Hold on. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what he's done his whole life. <laughs> you, don't know when I, you don't know when I'm going to die he or whether there's an afterlife wow. or whether I'll go chase Pac Man. Wow. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Twitch. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, which one of these is not a ghost from Pac Man? Uh, yeah, Brian is not a ghost. <laughs> not a ghost from Pac Man. Uh, it goes Clyde, Inky, Finky, and the other one was Spawn. Oh, two got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, two got it wrong. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> do, apparently, I'll do car salesman stuff. I'll sell a pillow. I don't care. <laughs> Moving on. Here we go. Q8. <laughs> How long was the Seven Years' War? Was it one year, five years, nine years, or seven years? I want you to think back to when you were in, like, probably middle school. Probably middle school, you were in a history class, and they talked about the Seven Years' War. And this is where you can define your own definition of, uh, of, of the American education system. Because some of you were like, oh, yeah, I got this. Some of you were like, there was a Seven Years' War? What? All right, so what's the answer? The answer is the Seven Years' War actually lasted... Yeah, somewhere between 9 and 14 God damn years. It. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to yeah. become a ghost and chase a yellow puck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if any of you want to, you know, just know that, you know, tax season's coming, go ahead and, you know, bump that little uh, education system part up. Uh, good job to the 29 of you that got that one right. Yeah, 9, nine to 14 Business years. Business in the chat is like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> go back to ghost. <laughs> All right, moving on. Here we go. Q9. <laughs> uh, which state in the United States is not in the top five largest states uh, by landmass? Is that Montana, Colorado, California, or Texas? Which one of those is not in the top five largest states by landmass? I'm going to caution you on this one. This one, we are actually talking square footage size. So try to you know keep that in your calculations. Uh, uh, I'm gonna ask you again, Brett. What do you? What do you? Go ahead, say it. What's your Brett? I'm what's saying your... Colorado, cause it's just square. It, it is kind of a boring square. State. I mean, Unless it's, it's you're talking beautiful. about, it's got a lot of thing going. But then you've got mountains too, right. so it might be. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh. Are we counting vertical landmass, motherfucker? We are not, but that's a good. I like where your head's at. All right. Plus, what about sure. plus when you get wicked high, everything seems huge. It's huge. <laughs> Look at that butterfly. <laughs> uh, what did you say, Brian? I said Colorado as well. Oh. But but it was close. But it was between that in Montana. Well, yeah. well, neither one of those are correct. The actual answer is actually it is. It is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it is Colorado. Good job to the seven, 78 of you that got the a rare Lo- pub trivia face. fake out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good job. To the of you, uh, they got that one. Right. It goes like this. Uh, the top uh, the top three are Alaska, Texas, and California. Sure. Texas and California combined not equaling the landmass of Alaska. Alaska's huge. It's, yeah. It's, it's you. You know, on the map, they make it that big, but you don't want to walk across Alaska? No, you don't. All right, good job. <laughs> Moving on. Last question, round two. Here we go. Q10. Which of the following is not a movie directed by Steven Spielberg? For all you movie fans, is it War Horse, Jaws, E.T., or Home Alone? Which one of those is not a movie that is directed by Steven Spielberg? If you ever want to just, you know, uh, burn a Sunday or something like that, uh, go check out Steven Spielberg's filmography. It's actually incredible. The number of movies that were, like, number one in the box offices that either either, uh, directed or produced or wrote or had, you know, something to do with is actually, it's insane. Insane. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the actual answer is he had nothing to do with Home Alone. Good job, 72 of you. Well, well done. Uh, War Horse came out in what, 2011? I think that's right. Anyway, uh, War Horse came out in 2011. Jaws and E.T. are two movies that put him on the map, uh, but Home Alone, he had nothing to do with. Oh my goodness. Hey, we did it. We made it through round number two. Let's see who, uh, you know, is getting paid for this one. It looks like in the top of the top, we got Stale. Hey, what up, Stale? Shout out to you. A hundred, you get some, you get some free, uh, free cash thrown up at you. Good job, 138, <laughs> Good job. Rabbit, I see you. Uh, 518, hey, you still made the top three. Good job. G, you net. Shout out to you in that fourth place spot. Don't panic. I see you. Dark rain. Red, Red Redeemer, Dark Redeemer, shout out to you. Uh, and we got Mayo Fam, me. May of May. I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Uh, May of May, shout out to you in that seventh place spot. Way to work. Excellent job. Hey, you're crushing it. You're doing a great job. I see more and more people jumping in. We definitely appreciate that. Again, a huge shout out uh, to, to Brian and Brett for having us here on a great night. We definitely appreciate that. Um, hey, we got some more free money. We're going to try to give it away right here and right now while we were resetting your scores. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with round number three of Trivia Stream. Stay tuned. So here, here, here's here's the problem. Oh, wait. Hold on. I, I got to participate in this part. I got to oh. I, I gotta be the first person to post in the chat what this is. Oh. Uh, that's a, um, uh, god damn it. Uh, oh, that's right. The answers are coming in. Yeah. There you go. I'll just copy them. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, 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 the, the problem with actually playing the game is like whenever the camera cuts to us, we're both looking at each other's screen yes. to see whether or not we're winning or losing against each other. Yes. <laughs> um, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, and the, the the worst is when I check the screen later and see the playback, and it's me in weird facial I know, I know. That's like, like yeah. <laughs> like, we, we sort of, you would think we would have an advantage because we're hearing everything live real time. Turns out to not be an advantage. No, I, I'm a, I am a surprisingly slow responder. Turns out that the questions are actually good and hard. Yeah. It's like, uh, Phrasing? Yeah. Nobody? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude, I'm loving this. Hey, we are back with round number three. Is it already time for round number three of Trivia Stream? Again, guys, uh, we are having a great night. I hope you are too. Uh, man, uh, you know, we're throwing out some real free money out there. This is great. You can't do better than that for Thanksgiving. Uh, listen, it's time for round number three. Of course, we have reset your scores. Everybody is back on zeros. You're tied for first. Uh, you can you can enjoy it while it lasts because it's not going to happen much longer than this. Let's go ahead and move on. Round number three, Trivia Stream. Good luck. Uh, what NASA mission was the first to put humans on the moon? Would that be Apollo 13, Mercury 2, Apollo 11, or Gemini 8? Which one of those is the very first NASA mission to put humans on the moon? Uh, I love space. I'm going to be really honest. If if Elon Musk ever happened to be watching this show, I'm just offering my services to do a game show from space. All right? <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> Thank you, James. I appreciate that, man. All right, what is the answer? Well, the answer is, the answer is, it is Apollo 11, and 81 of you Googled that really quick. Great job to the 81 of you that got that one right. Well, well done. Uh, yeah, it, it was Apollo 11. To the 10 of you who said Apollo 13, I am going to say that that mission was supposed to go to space, but if they you ever saw the movie the with Tom Hanks and uh, uh, it was Gary Sinise, uh, it did not work out so good. Kevin Bacon. Huh? And Kevin Bacon was in there? Yeah, goddamn right. Kevin Bacon's in everything. Dude, that's just, yep. Uh, 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 yep, yes. 
the my, thing. My, your controversial stance is that Ghostbusters is funny. My controversial <laughs> stance is that ba Kevin Bacon has been in a lot of movies. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Let's move on. Here we go. Q2. <laughs> uh, this mythical creation uh, did uh, what mythical creation did Doc Brown invent to make time travel possible in the Back to the Future franchise? Is that a TARDIS? A DeLorean, a Time Turner, or a Flux Capacitor? Which one of those is the mythical uh, creation uh, that, 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 made, that Doc Brown created to make time travel possible in Back to the Future? I'm a, I, I, made a, I made a statement about Ghostbusters. I'll make a statement about, uh, about this Back to the Future. Back to the Future, if taken as a series, one, two, and three, is one of the best time travel uh, franchises of all time. I said oh, it. Bold take. Bold take. Wow. Very nice. Nice. Especially with three movies. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, I'm not saying as an individual movie or one spot, but as, a, as an entire series, as a picture, this is pretty good. All right, what's the answer? Well, the answer is... The answer is a flux capacitor. Great job to the 81 of you who got that right. To the 18 of you who said DeLorean are trying to cuss me out in the chat room, let me just be clear, <laughs> all right? Listen, uh, uh, it was a DeLorean. That's what they traveled in. But Doc Brown didn't invent the DeLorean. Uh, that was already a real car. He did invent a flux capacitor to duct take that Jones onto the top of the car, wrapped it in tinfoil, added an antenna, and boom, time travel. Because it's... Marty, the problem is with Science. your kids. <laughs> I, I knew it out to be assholes. <laughs> I, I knew enough to get to know I got that one wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally, I totally snapped to Delorean as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that you conceded on the microphone. I, I concede. The chair concedes that it's not a Delorean. And there was some question because I've famously never seen. It. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh yeah. we all learning stuff today. Move uh, Q three. <laughs> Night attack, I literally got it wrong. Uh, which one of the following is an actual musical instrument? Is it a Zamboni, a Winjo, an Ocarina, or a Cheriman? Which one of those is an actual musical instrument? I'm gonna try to help you out. I do want you to win free money from us. So, uh, any uh, Legend of Zelda fans out there? You a Legend of Zelda fan? If you are a Legend of Zelda fan, then you got this one on lock and easy. Again, I'm just trying to help you out. It's, it's the holidays. What kind of person would I be to try to deny you extra free money? So, which one of these is not an actual uh, musical instrument? Well, the answer is an ocarina, uh, an, or is an actual musical instrument. The answer is an ocarina. Good job to the 82 of you that got that right. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Arguably one of the best Legend of Zelda games of all time. Oh, very uh, much. Boy, the hot takes from this one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're making some bold stances, sir. <laughs> hey, man. I don't know. I think the Beatles are pretty good. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The look. <laughs> <laughs> they were all right. Uh, they, they were, they were all right. Uh, good job, the 82 of you got that right. Uh, we made, Did we make up Chairman James? All right, cool. We made that one up. All right, moving on. Here we go. Q4. In Latin, the word alibi means what? Uh, this is a public service now. Don't Google this. Just, you know, answer, use your brain. Is it uh, having two people named Ali at another place sing you to sleep or I don't know them? Which one of those does the word alibi mean in Latin? Again, brains plus science equals correct answers on, on trivia shows. I genuinely think you can do this one. I think you can you can logic this one out. No, uh, I can't. I can't because by by is two and Ali is a name, so it's uh, a <laughs> two, two people, people named Ali. Ali. You know, I uh, see what you, when I when I spoke, I was speaking to them because I think that they actually passed second grade, and I think that they can get this one absolutely correct. The answer is, yeah, at another place. Hey, you did it! You did it! You signed it out. Well, well done. Excellent. I went to college. <laughs> excellent, excellent job. Uh, I do want to say that all of these were really fun to write because we did try. We're like alibi. How do we? How do we? How do we make that into a, a thing? But yeah, it does. It means at another place, which makes sense if you're watching any like documentary or like a what is it called like courtroom drama and they're like your honor i have an alibi you can be like that's latin that's that's clear what did harry potter get for christmas in his first semester at hogwarts i expect there to just be like knife fights about this question is it a nimbus 2000 broom an invisibility cloak his snowy white owl or a firebolt broom which one of those did harry potter get for christmas in his first semester at hogwarts i didn't ask you guys but are, are y'all huge harry potter fans I, I, Look, this is gonna put me, this is gonna age me. I know it's gonna just put my age out on blast, but I will say I was one of those people who waited in line to go get a Harry Potter book. Anybody else out there? Brian, did you do that? Uh, uh, no. Brett? I went to Barnes and Nobles and got it there. 
But I remember getting the line? fourth no. book in line. I waited. I mean, I was out. in the crowd shaming him for being a pagan influence. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a witch. He's a, he's a wizard. All right, what's the answer? The answer is he got his invisibility cloak. Oh. Oh. If you pick Nimbus 2000 Broom, and I get why you did, you are on the right track. You really, really are. But uh, that's what he got for Christmas is uh, his uh, invisibility cloak. From his dad. All right, hey, let's uh, check in and see how we're doing. Uh, G Unit, shout out to you, 70,518. Man, y'all are great at trivia. Well, well done. Rabbit, I see you. DJ Slack moving up in the top five. Excellent job right there. I see Preston Parker in the top five as well. Hey, listen, I want to try to make sure that everyone here feels love, all right? So I'm going to make up a number. That number is going to be. Uh, 69 for nice. no reason at all. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see who's number 69. We got. Uh, is that uh, Kangsba? Oh, Kangsba. Hey, Kangsba. Shout out to you. You know, every once in a while, I have some extra free money in my pocket. These are called Gus Bucks. I'm gonna throw that out to you. Congratulations. You just got some free money. Just hanging out sometimes helps get you some free stuff. Y'all are all doing a great job. Let's keep it moving. Here we go. Q6. Uh, what scary cereal is not uh, a real cereal? Is that Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Booberry, or Creepix? Which one of those is not <laughs> a real cereal? I'm, this is this is true. One of my favorite parts about being an adult, like when I moved to college and all that stuff, my favorite part about being an adult was that you can eat cereal whenever the hell you want whenever to, right? Want. And 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 you can explore the cereal aisle. You can like it's a whole brand new world. Instead of just getting like Cheerios or Kicks, you can go and get whatever cereal you want to. So you know, be Free. Live your life. What's the answer? The actual answer is Creepix. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just give some extra, like, just uh, magical confetti glitter for that one. 102 of you got that one correct. Uh, I love that we've got cereal connoisseurs here. <laughs> I really do. Uh, Booberry, Frankenberry, Count Chocula, those are all real cereals. But uh, Creepix, we made that up. I, so, would I, say... I do love the fact that two people thought, Booberry, that sounds dumb. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I think that we can create Creepix by mixing Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Boo Hey, 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 hey. hey uh, I just want to say that if y'all want to go in with me on a Kickstarter to start some Creepix, Creepix I Creepix. think that could be delicious. Yes. I mean, we, we can start a thing. It's a movement right now. All right, moving on. Q7. Uh, which book is not written by Stephen King? I'm going to put money that uh, Brian question. Is off the off the None uh, of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, Dark Tower, The Eyes of the Dragon, or Rosemary's Baby? Hey, this is this is a real real thing. It's fun Ooh. to be able to talk to you guys. Uh, this is a real thing. Uh, I literally have a hard drive at my house. It's an external hard drive that has nothing but probably a... Uh, totally paid for books that brian sent me and like there's like there's at least a giant file of nothing but stephen king books on there that's got me through a lot all right so what is the answer the answer is rosemary's baby that is right eyes of the dragon dark tower and the girl who loved Dom tom gordon those were all legit stephen king bo uh, books and very good you should definitely uh, check them yeah out. shouts out uh, gus was one of my first uh uh folks that i evangelized uh, the dark tower series for and and went all in yeah i've what i've listened to the entire series uh, at at least seven times without exaggeration anyway great job 33 of you well well done moving on q8 what is the name of the first video game which happened to be produced by atari is that tron pong centipede or dragon's lair man I am an old school gamer through and through. Like I love old school video games. They're still fun. Old school Mario's fun. Old school Mario Kart's fun. Uh, the, I'm gonna add on there, Donkey Kong Jr. is a classic game. Uh, so which one of these is the very first video game? Is the first one that came out that really changed the game and really made this like uh, made video games like super popular. People are like, well, there's there's pennies in this thing. Let's go ahead and check this out. What is the answer? The answer is it is Pong. Just. I am so disappointed in this audience. What? Why? What, what are they split four ways on this? What? Yeah. 21. I mean, there's a vote for everything. Most uh, everyone said I think Pong. Some people just voted with their heart. They're like, Dragon's Lair is a dope game. Like, there's no, there's never going to be another game like Dragon's Lair. Space Ace. Speed is great. Uh, Space Pong Ace. Is also great. <laughs> but Pong is the answer. If you don't know what Pong is, that's the one where there's a paddle over here, a paddle over here, a little ball that bounces back and forth. At the time, that was the height of entertainment. And now we have what? Got it when Apple I was a kid. Dropping. When it first came out, we had it at my house. Did you really? Yes, oh, we did. I remember being at, the, just hang on, just for a word, the sidebar. <laughs> uh, I, I remember uh, when I was a kid, there was a, a, a restaurant, it was a burger restaurant, and you could sit down at a table and play the arcade, like mm -hmm. uh, across from each other, yeah. like burgers mm -hmm. and stuff on the thing. 
best. It's Pizza the best. table. Yeah. All right, moving on. Q9. Which planet in our solar system is one, two, three, four, fifth from the sun? Would that be Saturn, Venus, Mars, or Jupiter? Which one of those is the fifth planet from the sun? Look, don't let you, you probably, I'm sure every one of you had like a third or fourth grade teacher that really worked hard to teach you the order of the planets. Maybe they uh, taught you a song. Maybe they taught you a phrase. I don't know. We weren't in the same class, but I do know that they tried. So don't, you know, don't let your science teacher down. You got just, this. I don't know about you, but my very educated mother just served us nine nothings. <laughs> That's so great. What's the answer? The answer is Jupiter. That's right. Good ah! job 64 of you that can count to five. Uh, my very educated mother just served us. I learned it as nachos. What'd you learn it as? Uh, 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 nine, nine pies. Nine pies. Oh, because, because, because Pluto used to be a planet. Yeah. You know what? Just every moment. Just, let's take a moment. Yeah, just have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> moment of silence for, for a celestial dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> grow, grow, grow. <laughs> Moving on, Q10. That's a Kickstarter. <laughs> Man, Which Pluto of Jesus planet? Christ. And we'll Which part of your pics. body increases in size in the afternoon? Is that your butt, your lungs, your hands, or your feet? Honestly, this is a science question. You can you can science this out. Again, brain split science equals correct answers on trivia shows. I genuinely think you can get this one, all right? Uh, why would one part of your body grow as the day goes long? Sunbun has a legitimate complaint. My answer isn't listed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we don't have a complaint box. We'll take that under suggestion. Uh, what's the answer? The answer is your feet. Uh, what? That's true. Why is that? Well, you stand on your feet all day long. All that weight, all that pressure uh, makes your, uh, your feet like stretch out. It's true. So if you want it, pro tip, if you're ever going to go buy some new sneakers or shoes or whatever, go in the afternoon. That way you're, you're sure your shoes fit you all day long. Yeah, learning stuff on Trivia Stream. All right, let's check in and see how we did. It looks like in the top of the top. Again, thank you guys to see more and more people jumping in. G unit, shout out to you, 141,000 <laughs> plus people. Yo, know, you get some extra crushing it, extra extra glitter. Uh, hey, Preston, shout out to you. you. Got second place. Well done to you as well. And Rabbit Llama in that third place spot. Well done, friends. Well, well done. Hey, um, listen, you're doing such a great job. Hey, make sure if you have, if this is your first time jumping in, I do want to say, uh, my name again is Gus Davis. Thank you guys so much for all the love in the chat room. Y'all are killing it. You're crushing it. You're doing a great job. We do have a free public show that's coming up on December 7th at 8 p.m. Central Time uh, under the on, on Twitch. It is at uh, Trivia Stream Game Show. Please log in, check that out. You can have you if this is going on too, you can have two side side things, you know, open two windows and try I to give it. you blessing to miss the live show and, and to go do <laughs> trivia stream. You can listen to the podcast. Uh, well, you fine. know, we're gonna give away some more free money again and we just uh, you know we're trying to grow our channel. So thank you guys again uh, for, for being here. And Brian and Brett, thank you guys so much for having us. Bryce, I see you working in the corner. Thank you so much. All right, guys, listen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reset your scores. We're also gonna kind of twist this next round up, I believe leave uh, our next round is going to be all about movies so we're going to kind of make it a themed round just for you guys and while we're doing that um you know i'm just going to put uh, brian and brett on the spot for a second check them out don't go anywhere we'll be right back with round number four of trivia stream dude i Thank actually you. i actually got some trivia for you okay. uh I, I i i almost tried to inject it but I'm, I'm actually glad that we have this moment uh do you know which olympic sport was the first to have a doping scandal and do you know Ooh. what the uh, what the dope was? No. It's directly related to one of the questions and one of the jokes that we made. This is me. I get to play Gus. I know. Uh, I'm not throwing money around. I don't have an America ribbon. Uh, I don't have a podium. <laughs> You don't I'm have not nearly as. In, I don't have charisma. I'm a fucking ghost <laughs> that chases a pizza pie made That's of yellow. Right. Uh, uh, the answer is the biathlon, and I believe it was a Swedish guy who uh, uh, was disqualified because he had a couple of beers to calm his nerves wow. because the, bio wow. bi the biathlon is cross-country skiing, skiing and, and then, then you, you have to shoot. And it's so, a stupid sport. Can you believe okay. that? Is that yeah. amazing? That is amazing. Uh, what are you I supposed to be better at, drunk skiing or shooting a gun? I, 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 I mean, look, I understand. I mean, look, bowling, <laughs> I'm, I'm a better bowler two beers in, so why not a better shooter? Oh, yeah, I'm well, I, was, I was hoping so much that it would be the, what's the one with the broom and the oh, curling. 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 I was hoping there would be a curling scandal dude once you 
really understand curling, like curling's pretty dope. It, it's it's oh yeah, it, 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 it's legit. Okay. Yeah. You want you want to curl? Let's do it. Yo, bro, you want to curl? Dude, I can curl. Do you, do you, do you, do I can you, curl all do, fucking day long. Do you even curl? <laughs> I can curl sometimes. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk curling, yeah. That's how, that's how that's how the mosquitoes got those guns. <laughs> they did all that drunk curling. Lots of that and curling bullets. <laughs> and bullets. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I don't know if we mentioned what the prizes are that people are getting. Uh, it's in the chat. Oh, okay. But we are we are giving away those Amazon gift codes. We're Amazon giving, gift we're giving codes. Three hundred bucks tonight. Three hundred dollars were given away. Sweet. Yeah. I'm not uh, gonna get it. By the way, uh, legit, legit. Everybody should. Uh, 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 let me shout it out again. What, what's the stream? A trivia stream game show. Trivia stream game show. They're doing a public show next week. Yes, you have permission to cheat on us. Uh, you, you, you get it. You get a hall pass. A, I mean, a I kitchen won't pass. be able to. But... Just you can you can get a handy once. Come on. It's been a done, but it can't mean nothing. Is it a part of the, the top got, five? You, you, Is it the five? You, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, you get five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, dude. But uh, I, I'm, I'm loving this. Yeah, I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, b between the two of you, who have won more of these rounds? Uh, you know, I, I think I, you I, have. I, I think it's good <laughs> to really think about. I'm like, I'm, I'm strong enough. I mean, I think the more important question is whether or not uh, anyone said DeLorean instead of. Flux okay, capacitor. that's true. Okay. He okay. said DeLorean, and I said flux capacitor. I, I, well, uh, yeah. All right. Wow, and you've seen the movie? Is that right? Hey, uh, uh, man, I would love, I would love to watch you watch the movie. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. We, we will, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do two, that two in movies. What is, is the other? Dark Side of the Moon. We'll do Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> have, have you seen Arrival? Uh, yes. I think okay. Yeah, yeah. I think we talked about it on Court That's Killers. my favorite thing is to watch someone watch Arrival for yeah. the first time. If you've read Slaughterhouse Ro Five, it, uh, oh, how man. dare you? Yeah, Vonnegut over. Uh, but it's a beautiful Villeneuve. movie. Come yeah, on, I'll it's say. A beautiful yeah, movie. come at me, bro. I didn't read the first four. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, good, good, good. I don't know how much time we have to. Play. Right, I think we're good. Oh, we're good. oh great. <laughs> let's, he's, let's, he's looking let's at us like, could you go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ready. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Come, coming on back. Hey, uh, I also just realized that y'all literally have your laptops open side by side, and so you answer, and then the other one just leans in like it's mad. Oh, no. Yeah. They, they're very awkward shots that Bryce keeps cutting to. <laughs> yeah. Doing, 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 doing this. <laughs> We're not changing our answers. Hey, We're you, just going, You would oh, think that we do. would be professional enough to keep, like, the show going yeah, and the yeah. comedy, but no, it's no, like, no. it's like, God damn it, yeah, 23rd. Yeah, let's come get, on. Come on. All right. Hey, I actually have a surprise. Uh, uh, I also want to give a huge shout-out to James Caldwell, who Work yeah, definitely hard behind the scenes, James. Thank you so much. Big shout out. Uh, 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 James put this together while we were doing green room, but this next round, uh, I haven't even seen it yet. That's 100% true. Uh, is all about great night. So, this we've got a what? great night themed round, <laughs> just not, for shit, not shit, just yeah, great night. Lose. Everybody get in, know, everybody right? get in. Okay, <laughs> I okay, uh, I don't so, know uh, anything. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I, I swear, I honestly, ha hand up, I promise you, I, I haven't seen any of these questions. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Here they're, we go. they're good. Round number four, the uh, great night theme. Good luck. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to get fired. Which of these uh, actually famous people has never guested on the show from BB Live Show to Great Night? Is it uh, Mark Marin, Christopher Coppola, Kevin Nealon, or Rosanna Pen Panzino? Uh, Panzino. Uh, Panzino. She, she does uh, nerdy nummies. Those, uh, which one of these uh, I mean, I mean, I've never heard of her. people <laughs> have never guested on shows from BB Live Show to Great Night? Uh, I, I love the qualification of actually famous. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's so great. Uh, the answer is Kevin Nealon. Oh, right. hey. we had Mark Maron on here? Yeah, we did. I love Mark Maron. Hey, uh, 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 everybody else has been on the show? Yeah. I, I, what have I been doing? I, not, yeah, you're on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm not in the actually famous category, though, so that's like, I hope not. You too. Uh, who first uttered Justin's nickname? Uh, CG no, is the name, is the nickname. I'll, I'll say it for you. It's CG. Uh, is that Brian, Owen, or Justin? Which one of those is the person who actually uttered? Uh, what was it again, Brian? It's CG. Oh, yeah. You ain't going to get me on video. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know how people can cut and splice this. Mm -mm. Not today. All right, what's the answer? The answer is Justin. Oh, oh. 16 of you got that one right. Good job. Well oh. done. All right, uh, uh, 
Brian, is there a story you would like to say about that? Uh, uh, well, I was. I, I, I think we were doing a um, a call to action video, and and the the subject was something something. He said he was from he was Sicilian, <laughs> and then he, for reasons I still don't know, mm -hmm. uh, said, "Yeah, I'm a sea Jew," and I'm like, I don't know what that means. And then later, like a year later, he started accusing me of giving him that nickname, and it's like <laughs> I had to track down the video evidence. I'm like, motherfucker, this was self applied. Don't yeah, don't you. you this Bro. on me. See, this is this is exactly why I did exactly what I did because you know uh, the inf information on the internet lasts forever, and there's <laughs> no world in this in this no way in this world that I'm gonna get caught on on YouTube just be like, hey, you know, uh, Justin is a Move oh, on. What? No, what was it? Yeah, sorry, what sorry, was it? Well, my time was hurt you. you. I heard you say it out loud. <laughs> what did you... date did the first ever BB Live uh, show scream on Ustream? Would that be August 8, 2008, April 2nd, 2009, June 11, 2010, or January 1st, 2009? Nope. What's going to be funny, I'm going to bet right now, I bet Brian misses this one. Yeah. That, I, in fact, I'm going to put some extra free money right oh, no. there. I believe that Brian is going to get this one wrong, and that's going to be hilarious. Hilarious to me. Okay. Uh, what is the There's answer? a good chance. Well, the answer is the answer is January 1st, 2009. Oh. Ryan, be honest. Yep. Yep, what? Uh, yeah, I totally remember that day. Okay. Cool, I, cool, I cool. remember well. the white hot terror I felt the entire time of like, uh, please call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in a room by myself. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hello. All right. Moving on. Good job. Q, uh, I'll give you your money later. Q4. So Which Diamond Club member composed the music to spam? Spam is a rapist, rapist is the name of a song. Is it uh, Titu Titu, uh, Soundwave, or uh, Tati Alter, uh, <laughs> Identity 4, or Stephen Cogswell? Which one of those people is who composed the music? Uh, the symphony, the ballad, the aria of Spam is a rapist. Uh, uh, by the way, this was a uh, paid sponsor, and we wanted to make the point that uh, Spam is bad. And Justin enthusiastically tried to think of something else that's very bad, uh -huh. uh, and went very far. Uh -huh. uh, might have might have gotten us in trouble. Maybe <laughs> might have been made into a song, who somebody else made into a music video okay. that was yep. just catchy enough that we all were supposed to get fired from the network yep, over yep, it. Yep, yeah. I want to just offer my services as a think tank partner. Uh, <laughs> I, am, I am exceptionally good at just being like, hmm. No. <laughs> yeah, you idea. should. What's the actual answer? The actual answer is, oh my goodness, only 13 of you got that right. Good. Good job! Honestly, I'm proud of you. Good job to the 13 of you who got Soundwave or uh, uh, Itai Alter. Itai, Itai Alter, Alter, yeah. Uh, is the uh, is the person who uh, you know? Full disclosure: the only reason I got is because I looked at him. Yeah. So, man, there's uh, something there's something just like poetic about you cheating on a spam <laughs> uh, question. All right, moving on. Q5. <laughs> Uh, on the night of NACA 2011, oh, Brian was calling in from which Diamond Club member's basement? Is it Vincent404, Roberto, shout out, uh, Gilaloop, uh, Becky, uh, Kuhan, uh, is it Naeem or uh, P. Delahanty, oh, which is Patrick Delahanty? Which one of those is where Brian was calling from, from NACA 2011? Here's a crazy fact. Uh, I'm, I was at that knocked you were there i was there yeah yeah uh yeah did i tell I, I i'm sure you saw me coming back sweaty and googly eyed uh, after I that broadcast that, <laughs> I, that, I i know i know cookie monster brian and i see what's the answer the answer is the answer is googly loop uh, giggle loop good job uh, the giggly loop becky that's 32 of you that got that right well honestly i'm genuinely impressed that's, <laughs> this is the, i I can't even read these questions. And these are, uh, you guys are doing a great job. Well done. Hey, we're at the halfway mark of round number four. Let's check in real quick. It looks like, hey, some new blood at the top of the list. I'd love to see that. Joker, well done. 70,000. Preston, I see you working so hard. And, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, top five. Hang on just a second. I know these. <laughs> Wait, are you on Brian. Scam School Brian or are you on Night Attack? Uh, I'm, on, I'm on Scam School Brian. Scam School Brian is third okay. on a round that he wrote. Uh, I did. For our well, I guess, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, he kind of helped me write them a little bit. Hey, uh, you know what? I feel, like, uh, I feel like I had some extra money in my pocket. I do. So let's give away some more Gus Bucks. Um, Brian, make up a number. Five. 
Uh, okay. Sorry, sorry, you said make up a number. Uh, no, uh, you did. You Threaven. Uh, Rapid Llama. <laughs> Rapid Llama, you just got some free Gus Bucks. Congratulations, because Brian counted to five. already existed. Three. Well, three. well done. Three. Uh, well done to you. Excellent job. Let's keep moving. Here we go. Q6 coming your way. Dead last. Hey, I'll give you a shout out. Uh, fearless, fearless, shout out to you. Uh, which night attack uh, uh, that episode title uh, was recorded first? Oh, Is no. that the prostitution? Uh, that's a year, uh, that's a erotic, or that's bananas. Which one of those is the Night Attack, that episode title that was recorded first? Uh, so so right. th th there, there was a run where, uh, we like, like several of them in a row, we uh, it became a running gag to call it like, that's blank. Uh -huh. um, I don't know this one, I guessed. What, what was your guess? Just be honest. That's prostitution? That was your guess. Well, I mean, it's probably the most likely thing that we would talk about. Okay, cool, cool. And Brett? I said that's a year, but I don't know any of it. I'm so tanking all of this. Okay, yeah. I, I can just see people going, yep, Brett's about to get yeah. fired. Uh, all right, well, let's find out <laughs> together. Here we go. The answer is, that's prostitution. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> that's prostitution. That's, that's prostitution. prostitution. That's, that's prostitution. prostitution. Right. I have an alibi. <laughs> oh, my God. I look forward to your clips later. All right, moving on. Q7. <laughs> Don't take my life. Uh, <laughs> the uh, night before uh, before the ghost dad, which of these episodes of Hacking the System oh, premiered on Nat Geo? Great question. <laughs> Hacking to win, travel tricks, scam uh, artist hacks, or personal security? Which one of those is uh, uh, the night before ghost dad? Uh, uh, which of these episodes of Hacking the System premiered on Nat Geo? By the way, wow. you know, that's a real thing. Good job. Yeah, that's Congrats. a real sentence. That yeah. just, uh, well uh, uh, I'm sad that I don't know the answer. Um, I, I, I went with hacking to win because I think it was fairly uh, uh, hacking the system launched uh, around the same time that that. Uh, ugh, shit, I don't know. I, 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 uh, I think I got, I got it wrong. You got this far. Good for you. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Josh in the corner, just yell, yell out. What do you think the answer is? All right, well, let's find out together. Here we go. The answer is. The answer is, uh, it is. It's personal security. Hey! Yeah, yeah that, that, right. that was that was uh, one of yeah, the pilot. Forty-one episodes. of you got that one correct. Excellent. Hey, shout out, Josh. Right. Oh, you was, cheating. Uh, that was the debut of yeah. It was the debut of those specials, and it was a part of the episode that day. So. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. No, I for, I forgot that we had gone independent um, uh, a few months before the episodes started coming out. I'll gone it. No, you know. Uh, you know what? Shut it down. Forget all this. <laughs> None of this counts. You know Brian, <laughs> welcome to <laughs> this is your life. <laughs> all right. How much on. do you know? <laughs> Q A. <laughs> uh, when Night Attack died, man. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, how many episodes uh, from the Ghost oh. Attack period were released? Is it 14, 20, 16, or 12? Ooh. This was the period where we promised it was going to be like uh, audio A only month. April. <laughs> then it became maybe video May. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then it became just a just little a longer, bit June. longer June. <laughs> 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 this uh, this sounds like a uh, 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 like you were doing a. Uh, Oh, what's that called? Like a like you're you're crowdsourcing. You're crowdsourcing. <laughs> yeah. you're like, hey, maybe the audio will work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's right. see what happens today. <laughs> although, although to our credit, like the reason we took so long is because we were building out this set and figuring out the format. Hey, hey, fuck you! <laughs> patreoncom <laughs> slash I, I don't have to answer you guys. <laughs> All right, what's the answer? The answer is the answer is yeah, it's twelve. Hey, good job. Did you get that right? Uh, I did, and in fact, uh, good job on on making it the lowest number. That was a clever trick because it felt like long time. Uh, that, that was good. <laughs> hey, all right, good job. It felt Shout like out long Bryce. time. Shout out to you as well. All right, moving on. Here we go. Q nine. You only got two more on this uh, on this round. Here we go. Q nine. Uh, in all, how many episodes of Night Attack Happy Hour were released? Is it 99, 96, 151, or 141? Uh, I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's a relatively large number. Uh, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, Night Attack Happy Hour for the Uninitiated was when we decided to do daily episodes to mitigate the un 
unwashed terror of the pandemic. Oh, and that's feel, cool. Like, we just went daily, and we're like, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Man, I feel like there's a, lot of, there's a lot of love that came back out of that, too, because, uh, you know, uh, anybody who was in my same situation, I was locked in my bunker, and I was just looking like, hey, are you a squirrel? Do you do you look like you speak English? I'm going to talk to you, squirrel. Uh, <laughs> like, any kind of connection. So that was awesome, man. Uh, how many episodes were there? Were there 141 episodes? Hey, 26 of you wow. got that one right. Brian? We did 141 of those motherfuckers? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's, that, that feels like a prison. You're like putting prison ticks <laughs> on, the, on the wall right there. All right, last wow. question this round, guys. Here we go. You're doing great. Q10. Uh, what date did Great Night finally premiere? Is that March 14th, 2021, June 29th, 2021, July 2nd, 2021? Brett, April you 20th, should know 20th. this one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do something, and I, I hope this works out. This is, Again, none of this is scripted. So let's go ahead and find out. Uh, Brian and Brett. I'm going to count to three. I want you to both just say your answer, your real answer. Y'all are obviously cheating off each other, so your real answer on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. July June, 2nd. June 29th. That was good unison. Uh, I, wait, wait, well, I, I, I didn't want to talk over it. <laughs> we, see, we're not cheating off each other. All right, well, let's find out the answer. The answer is June 29th. Oh. Uh, good 2021. Good job. Uh, I, w- I, said, I would have said April 20th, except for that was 420. And I know that that was the episode that uh, I got wicked high and uh, uh, experienced for the first time Toast of London. <laughs> And uh, awesome. uh, that was I, when you, oh my god, yeah, that was when I shaved my mullet <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, oh, baked out of my mind. I discovered Toast of London, Justin watched one episode with me and said good night. And I stayed up laughing <laughs> all night long until the sun came up. It and I described it later as the most fun I've had alone since I was 12. Yeah, uh, oh. you <laughs> called me the next day and you were like, Gus, Gus, Toast of London. <laughs> Watch it. Leave me on speakerphone. Watch it now. <laughs> All right, guys. Well done, the 47. If you got that right, uh, it's payday time. Let's see who got in the first spot. Joker, 118,000. Uh, that Woo! is an amazing score. You are a true fan, and so you get some true fan, fan glitter. Five. Uh, well yeah. done. I see Preston in second place. Great job. And again, we do these little uh, sidebar things so we can try to mix and match. Uh, we've got uh, Ye Changely. Hey, shout out to you. You got that third place spot. Some third place money. Excellent. Excellent job. What's great is from here on out, the top three, the, the top three I just announced, uh, y'all can walk around with your head held high and know that uh, you did this better than Brian did. Congratulations. Uh, and better than the guy who wrote the questions who competed. Yeah. <laughs> I beat Brian, though, so that's fun for me. Well done, man. Hey, listen, uh, well, I'm going to throw it back to uh, Brian and Brett for just a second. We're going to reset your scores. We got one more round. That's it. One more round for the night for you guys. Again, thank you all so much for being here. I hope you're having a blast. I hope you're having a great night. We'll be right back. Round number five. Dude, I'm so glad that this is happening like yeah. on Thanksgiving weekend. Very it, much. It, it, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, like one of the, I think one of the questions that uh, didn't, didn't make it in there was um, uh, the last time we did something like this is we wanted to have a Thanksgiving feast of viral videos, and we found all kinds of crazy stuff including like old <laughs> racist videos <laughs> uh, 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 the jello I mean, the, yeah, the, the, the grape the, flavored the, yeah uh an asian person is portrayed as saying uh pronouncing grape flavored as oh glade. No, yeah no. yeah that became the title of the episode sure yeah uh uh but Man, it's I'm so thankful. I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna get a little sappy right here. I'm really thankful for everybody being here for this week. Um, uh, I mean, the supply chains are fucked, and none of you can afford a turkey. Uh, but uh, but but at least uh, uh, you, you you got these old gizzards. <laughs> There you Come go. On. You can take the backbone and make a broth. Oh my out God. Expert that. salesman you Brian Brushwood Afri- selling. Cola. You. Have you ever seen the Afri Cola ad? No. Oh, we'll do that as soon as we're done here. Oh, okay. we got to revisit that. That's amazing. Uh, I've I tried I tried showing the Afri Cola ad to some friends of mine who are not really in the Diamond Club community, and it <laughs> it kind of went over like a lead balloon. <laughs> like they they acknowledged that it was very weird. And then <laughs> they didn't really have anything else for it. It's fully reasonable. Like, it's incredibly yeah. fully reasonable. There it is. Yeah. <laughs>
Xe and Mini, in <laughs> other words. <laughs> uh, if, if, if we can in the chat, if somebody can get us uh, have prepared links for the Africola ad and then also the NSFW remix of it would be amazing. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, 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 Gus, how you feeling? Let's do it, man. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, it's time for our final round of Trivia Stream. Again, great night. Uh, it's been a great night hanging out with y'all. Again, we have reset your scores. Everybody's back on zero. This is your last time to get in the game, up. man. If you been on right. the sidelines, uh, jump in. Yeah, if you've been on the side, if you've been in, the, if you've been in the, the negative club, or if you've been like, you <laughs> know, in the top club. eight or top ten, uh, this is your moment to shine. Pinky promised me right now you're gonna give us our best. All right, all right, Ready. let's go ahead and do it. Here we go, round number five, random trivia. Uh, you know, good luck. Here we go. Q1. Uh, who is the starring bad guy of Star Wars Episode One? Would that be Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Count Dooku, or Jar Jar Binks? I'm gonna put a personal Gus Data wow. asterisk on this one and say there are two correct answers. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yep. There's, yep. there's an answer that will get you points, and there's an answer that honestly I will give you a virtual high five for. Yep. Okay. All right. We've we've had our talk. Uh, if you are a fan of Star Wars Episode One, which none of you are, let's be honest, the answer is the answer is Darth Maul was the starring bad guy of Star Wars Episode One. But the correct answer, the actual answer, <laughs> I believe in my heart, is actually Jar. You know how bad Jar Jar Binks is as far as a, a bad guy in Episode One. He's so bad he killed an entire franchise. Uh, <laughs> that's oh. not easy to do. Anyway, great job to the poor Ahmed you, Best. They got that right. And whoever put the one person who said Jar Jar. Banks, put your hand up to your screen. This is me and you. Let's connect. One, two, three. Beesh. Good job. All right, moving on. Q2. <laughs> Darth Jar Jar is true. Uh, yep. Name a mammal that can fly. Would that be a bird, a bee, a squirrel, or a bat? I'm going to say this again and just look me in my eyeballs. Name a mammal that can fly. Bird, bee, squirrel, or bat? Which one of those is a mammal that can fly? Uh, Pro tip, they got nips. They do. That's they, they they produce milk. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you can squeeze it. Milk comes out. It's a mammal. Make cheese. Almonds are I've mammals. Got, I've got nips, Brian. You gonna, can you milk me? Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. What's the answer? The answer Sometimes. is it's a bat. It's a bat. It's a bat. Good job to the two. There's not some, flying squirrels. Right, good job they're flying the, squirrels. They don't they're not lie. mammals. They exactly. To the 17 of you who said squirrel, I totally get it. Right. There are things called flying squirrels, but they don't actually fly. They fall with grace and style. Uh, they, they, and they say things like that trick never works. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle fans, anybody? No. Good. All right, moving on. Thank Slow you. clap in the Three. back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, what is the staple food for one third of the world's population? Would that be rice, potatoes, bread, or beef? Ooh, this is a tricky question. Be very, very careful. Uh, again. Don't just think about your own city, state, local, country, county. Think about all around the world. Uh, you know, global, global population. What is the staple food for one third of the world's population? You yeah, dude. It. Think about everybody. Think about leprechauns, people who get into fistfights, <laughs> drunk people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is the answer? The answer is ninety. Five of you. You know what? You get lights and some extra, uh, you know, uh, uh, show uh, show money right there. Uh, good job to 95 of you. It is rice. Well, well done. Honestly, all of those sound plausible. Those all sound like they're plausible things. Uh, but uh, but potatoes. Right. <laughs> by, by the way, I was making an Irish reference, which I now get to do because I did a 23 and Me thing and found out how Irish I am. Oh, uh, it's okay it's because, because I'm Irish. Irish. Like, yeah, that is I like have an Irish friend. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. That is. <laughs> that is the best reason I've ever heard to do a 23andMe thing. To be like, hey, I want to do, I want to do some good jokes, uh, but I don't want to step on any toes. So, uh, hey, it's, it, I'm one eight hundredth uh, Cherokee. It's cool. So right. there, I uh, can yeah, make that so joke. There. Yeah. Uh, all right, moving on. Q4. <laughs> Irish, for real? Yeah. Uh, uh, third. What color is a twenty dollar bill in a game of Monopoly? Is that yellow, blue, orange, or green? Which one of those? Is Hey, real talk, and this is for this is a, a this is a group chat. Real talk. Uh, I know for a fact that I've only done uh, I've finished two games of Monopoly in my entire life. Other than that, somebody was cheating. Somebody grabbed the iron, and they know I'm always the iron. Somebody grabbed money <laughs> out of the bank. You know what I'm saying? People cried. Uh, people got kicked out of our house sure. because we were playing Monopoly. I'm just saying, Monopoly breaks up homes. 
Yes, it does. Monopoly breaks up. The ones are white, the fives are pink, the tens are yellow, and I think the twenties are green. Am I right? Hey. Let's find out together. The answer is the 20s are green. Woo! Well done, Brock yeah. Freshwood. Wow. 34 of you Green got like Irish right. people. Uh, uh, Monopoly and uh, what was that other game? Uh, uh, is Monopoly and... Um, I'm, life? There's life. Life is another great one that just like people get mad yeah. at playing. You know, yep. it's like... They get mad at having babies. <laughs> <laughs> right. I gotta have a baby. I ain't paying this is these bullshit. taxes. I ain't paying these taxes. All right, good job, thirty-four of you. Moving on. I Cute can't five. go to college. <laughs> journalist. <laughs> journalist. <laughs> what language has the most words in it? Is it Chinese, Japanese, English, or Latin? And before you get mad, we're talking about like when it's spoken, it is an actual, it's a language. All right, so Chinese, Japanese, English, or Latin? Which one of these is the language that has the most words in it? Again, this one sounds like it uh, like it's going to be very difficult, but I think once you, if, I know this sounds rough, but it, as a as a as a trivia question, once you know the answer to this, you can be like, oh, that makes total sense. So, what is the language that has the most words in it? The answer is English. Good job. Hon can, can, honestly, can, I'm I'm giving you a clap. Thirty one of you, excellent job. Uh, Look, here's the thing. Not only is English one of the hardest languages to learn as a second language, which it is, but it also makes no sense. Nope. And we're the we're the country or the language that we just keep adding words. People make up words and like the dictionary is like, sounds right. That's lit, fam. And they'll put it in the dictionary. Anyway, good job uh, to the 31 of you that got that right. Let's check in. Looks like, hey, back on top, 518. Shout out to you, 72,000. G-Unit. Shout out to you. Hey. Scam School Brian. Oh, what? Third place spot. Uh, I see Preston. Shout out to you. Biz. Good job. Welcome to the top five. Well done. I see uh, May of May. Shout out to you. And JCC. Shout out to you as well. JC Cullen. Shout out to you in that seventh place spot. Hey, we got five more questions, okay? I can see the finish line. It's right there. There's the ribbon. We just got to get there. Let's get there together. Shall gonna, we? Here I'm we go. Stay in this top five. I'm Ryan gonna, has 69,000 points. I'm going right. to die. Uh, <laughs> Fiddler Geisel is better known as whom? Is that Prince, uh, The Undertaker, Dr. Uh, Seuss, or <laughs> Big Bird? Again, Theodore Geisel is the real person's name. That was their birth name that's on their birth certificate, but they are known as a famous person or character. So is that Prince, The Undertaker, Dr. Seuss, or Big Bird? Uh, hey, real talk, that might be my answer to my question about if you could be at a bar and just have a seat and have, have drinks with any group of people, who would that be? Prince, The Undertaker, Dr. Seuss, and Big Bird, that might be my answer right there. That's a, that's a dope group. I mean, I'd rather see it as a tag team wrestling match, but I'm fine with that either way. <laughs> I think the only better name than Theodore, what is it? Geisel. Geisel, Geisel is uh, Roth. Uh, oh wait, Roth IRA? No, uh, Ravenscroft. <laughs> uh, Thurl's Ravenscroft. Thurl Ravenscroft. Yes, he was the voice of uh, of uh, Tony the Tiger. Seriously? Yep. Well, that's great. Well, that is You're great. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. That's the guy. No, I see. I see what you. Yeah. yeah thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I see you. That's grr. Here, yeah. let's do the Pandora thing because right, apparently that's it. cool. Yeah. I see you. Oh, oh. Rook oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to apologize to my wife and my kids. Uh, what's the answer? The answer is Dr. Seuss is who Theodore Geisel That's is. That's right. right. He wasn't a real doctor. His actual name was Theodore Geisel. Uh, uh, Whoa, you, man, another bold take. Wow. <laughs> You're going to the Not back. a real doctor. Throwing shade. Expose. <laughs> Theodore Geisel, was he a real doctor? Or was he? We got a noted expert, The Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking me this? <laughs> the, the Undertaker's like, five. no. All right, moving on. Q7, here we go. Uh, Q7 is uh, the top food consumption days in the United States are Christmas. Yep, Thanksgiving definitely makes sense. And what other day? Would that be Memorial Day, Super Bowl Sunday, St. Patrick's Day, or Easter? Which one of those? So top, it goes like this. Americans eat the most food on these three days. Uh, Christmas makes sense. Thanksgiving coming up definitely makes sense. Uh, and this is the other day that Americans eat the most food. Well, Gus, I don't want to interfere with anyone's decision, <laughs> yes. but I feel like there's one of them that's more obvious than the rest. Do you really? Oh, indeed. What is the answer to oh, that? I mean, at the top of the morning, I start eating some nachos. I get ready for the big tailgate. <laughs> the, oh, those I want to know. Nachos, <laughs> yes. I mean, it's clearly Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> that's what you say? What do you say, Brett? I say it's Easter. 
We're just both going to be Did Irish. you say Easter in an in Irish uh, accent? You know, one does what one does. He, he doesn't <laughs> want to cause any troubles. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I get well, that. I get that reference. Before we get canceled, the answer is... The answer is Super Bowl Sunday. Yay! Oh, well done, my friend. Uh, yeah, uh, which makes sense, right? Super Bowl Sunday. Even if you don't like sports ball, you're probably sitting around watching the big game. You got the... You know, you got your, uh, your deviled eggs right here. You got your, you know, your... Your, your chicken wings right here. Sure. Giant tub of a, a ranch dressing. Anything else? Anything else there? Uh, celery? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Good job, Sadie. You got the right. Q8. Uh, you got three more. According to legend, what is the strongest muscle in the human body? Is that your quadriceps, your tongue, your biceps, or your hamstring? <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh, I'm whoa. Required, I'm required by in internet law to say this is according to legend, which means that it's not actually true, though it was passed off as truth for a long time on the internet, which obviously you can't uh, use as a citation without being on a reputable source. So what is the answer? Well, the answer is, according to legend, the strongest muscle in the human body was the human tongue. Oh, yeah. Ah, to the, we got yeah. Good job to the 67 of you that got that one right. Well, well done. No, so it goes like this. Uh, you eat with your tongue. You talk with your tongue. Your tongue's moving all the time. But it doesn't develop that lactic acid like all of the other uh, muscles in your body. So people thought, pound for pound, it was the strongest muscle in the human body. Turns out the tongue is made up of, what, like eight different muscles. So, you know, doesn't actually count. But, you know, good Good trivia question. Down to the six, seven. So what is the actual, what is the, what is the what muscle? Is it, what is the strongest? Oh, man, I sure wish that was a question on this that I had memorized. Uh, the <laughs> end. Moving on. Yeah. I, I believe, I believe for real, for real, I think the answer is the heart uh, because the heart, you know, it keeps you alive. Never stops. And it, and it has lactic acid, so you can have heart, your heart hurt. Dude, uh, if you have lactic acid build up in your heart, please consult a doctor. <laughs> That's it. Longer than three or six hours. All right, moving on. Here we go. Q9. Uh, uh, on what street did the fictional character Sherlock Holmes live on? This is a dope question. Oh. Is it Elm Street, Back Street, Jump Street, or Baker Street? Which one of those is the fictional street that uh, Sherlock Holmes lived on? I... I am a huge Sherlock Holmes fan, and honestly, okay. I've liked every iteration of Sherlock Holmes that has ever come out. I liked Henry Cavill. He did a great job in that Enola Holmes. I thought he did great. Uh, I've, I've liked uh, Will Ferrell. I've liked, uh, 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 I almost said Tony Stark, but that's not true. Robert Downey Jr. I mean, I mean, I mean it might as well be. He was uh, playing the same character. Basically, but, uh, you know, I'm a big Sherlock Holmes the fan. The animated one with the dogs? Yeah! That's, yep. actually, that's actually scary. Have you seen, like, the Hounds of the Backstreet? That's, like, actually scary. Yeah. All right, so what's the actual answer? The actual answer is Baker Street. Again, honestly, with uh, 97 of you getting that right, you get to make it rain. Good job. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah? That one hit my ear twice. Uh, good job to the 97 of you that got that one on lock. Yeah, it's uh, 221B Baker Street. Elm Street is where Freddy Krueger lived. Backstreet's where the Backstreet Boys are from. You know, like, Backstreet's back. All right. Yeah. And Jump Street is 21 Jump Street. Last question of the entire game. Let's finish strong, friends. Here we go. Great night. Q10. <laughs> In the Alien movie series, who was the main heroine of the films? Would that be Deanna Troy, Ash, uh, Ashley <laughs> Williams, Peggy Carter, or Ellen Ripley? The nerd in me loves this question because every single one of these people deserves a shout out. And honestly, That's I'm just truth. I'm just I'm just proud to be able to do it. So uh, Deanna Troy, Ashley Williams, Peggy Carter or Ellen Ripley. Which one of those is the star, the main character or the heroine of the Alien movie series there? I, Alien changed the game. Alien like made uh, like science fiction and the horror movie genre like just blended and they had a baby and that's what uh, Alien was. What is the answer? The answer is none other than old school Sigourney Reaver. Uh, that is Ellen Ripley. Good job to the 100 of you. Uh, that's 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 score. that's two Sigourney Weaver answers we've had so far. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to say some of us are fixated, but I mean you're not wrong. I mean, do you know that the, the uh, underwear scene is pretty? Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Swing. Uh, good job to the hundred of you that got that right. Peggy Carter is from the MCU. Ashley Williams is from one of my favorite games, Mass Effect. And Deanna Troy, shout out, uh, you know, the Star, the Star Trek. Uh, She's good awesome. job. All right, hey, we did it, guys. We made it. We made it all the way Woo! through. 115 of you.
you. We kept going and adding to our, our people joining in. Thank you guys so much. Uh, 518, 143,000 points. You know what it is. You get some extra free money thrown up. Woo! Uh, G Unit. Shout out to you. And in the top three scam uh, school brian uh, i didn't even i didn't even i didn't even live any of these well no, no that's yeah great. hey uh brian because we do want to make sure that we give all of your uh, amazing uh fans and, and followers here a chance at winning some free money uh I'm, i'll i'll take you out for pizza later but uh let's uh pick a number between one and a hundred uh whoever you uh, whatever number you pick that person will get your prize for third place um uh, 82 82. All right, uh, let's see. 82 is going to be uh 82 is going to be none other than uh Von uh Von Hungtaint. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Baron Von uh Hunting Taint, I think. Uh, von Hungtaint. No, it. you got it right. You I it. love yeah. it. Nailed it first try. Hey, Vaughn, <laughs> congratulations. You just got Brian's uh, Brian's free money that he just threw at you. Hey, guys, uh, thank you guys so much. Again, don't forget, December 7th, uh, please join in on Twitch. It is at Trivia Stream Game Show. We're going to be giving away $300 more. Uh, we got brand new questions that we're going to be throwing out. Thanks for having me. Thanks for all the love in the chat room. Hope you guys had a blast. Hope you had a great night, and I hope you have a very happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to turn it back over to the guys. Thanks for playing. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Woo! standing ovation, standing belly clap for Mr. Yep. Gus Davis, yep. for Mr. James Caldwell, yep. for yep. Brett running the mod, mod stuff, uh, trivia stream. Uh, what a gift. What what an absolute joy. Uh, hot damn, that was fun. Uh, Bryce, Bryce, did you have a good time? Oh, that was great. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Uh, like, I, well, I, love, I, like, I mean, yeah. I guess you 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 actually go out to, 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 to but Yeah, trivia. this is the thing. <laughs> this, is e this is a little easier, so maybe I'll tune in for these because I've yeah, never uh, really got there. Uh, I, I guess uh, all the patrons, let us know uh, when you would like us to do this again because uh, it was a freaking blast. Uh, it, it, man, Brett, what did we learn? Well, we learned that uh, Justin obviously doesn't know how to go to Walt Disney World. Oh, well, I mean, he's just a bit confused about, you know, he thinks that breathing poisonous oh, air and watching a virtual reality, you know, movie is more fun than being actually captured by Imperials who yell at you. Yeah. That's, yeah, we also learned that uh, running trivia is not trivial. Uh, no, it's a, a freaking uh, it's 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 a cocaine binge of ninety minutes of pure energy. <laughs> I've learned that I want that coat. I want that coat. I want a version of that coat because that's an awesome coat. Uh, we learned that uh, the biathlon uh, has a troubled history. Yes, uh, we've learned that uh that it's great to have people with tattoos hanging out with us it's josh right thank josh. you very much josh for coming on out uh man but most of all uh we we, we learned that uh, uh god you guys live in our hearts and our minds uh we, we love you with everything that we are shine on you crazy diamonds we'll see you next tuesday you get to say it it's been a great night still a great night yeah close enough it's still you know been what? a great night Stop it. It's still it's, a great it's, night. It's, it's It's been a very still great night. It's a still great night. Oh, yeah. I see you had a bit of a brown liquid there. Oh, it's been a great night. I love potatoes. Ah. Pause the masturbation night uh, Let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, great night Woo! Gus Davis, Finally, get your ass off. you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>